Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. Today we're going to remove dog leashes and collars in Photoshop. If you're new here, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. Both of those things actually help us in this world of the internet. And so doing so genuinely would really help us. We've covered this kind of before. We've done a complex leash removal way back in 2020. We did a five ways to remove things in Photoshop, which did include this also. And then I think we've also talked about how to composite empty images and stuff, which is my normal way of doing this. But we've actually never covered how to just straight up remove things. I was going to say shit, but I stopped myself. But then I just said it then, didn't I? So whatever. Let's start. So you want to have your image already open up into Photoshop. It is important that we do this in Photoshop because Lightroom's just not good enough, guys. I, I, I'm i sorry, it's just not, it's just not. It's going to be Photoshop. So we're opened up in Photoshop. We're going to do the normal thing of duplicating the background layer for safekeeping, which is a command J. We do have videos about uh, whatever they're called, keyboard shortcuts. I'll go ahead and link that above now. So if we zoom in and, and go right into above 100% zoom, you can see this is tack sharp, super sharp in all of the right places. But we have this leash that's going round and down there and up here. OK, so it's not going to be the world's most simple removal because we have these golden bokeh blobs in the background, but it's not actually going to be that hard. So I want to walk through how I would approach this as somebody who removes leashes and then wins stuff in competition. So what we've done is we've already duplicated the background for safekeeping. Then we're going to go ahead and start method number one or attack method number one, which is to go ahead and grab one of our selection tools. So I'm going to personally use a polygon lasso because I have not got a steady hand, guys. I, I'm sorry, it's just the truth. And we're going to go ahead and leave a little bit of a gap between the leash and the line that we're drawing here. So we want to go and draw down the leash, a little clickety click. If you want to use a general lasso tool, that's fine. I always leave a little bit of a gap near to the subject. Don't go over them just yet. We will solve that later. So you want to loop up that leash and then we're going to do a shift backspace. OK, and then you want to make sure that this says contents, content aware. OK, this is very important. And then click OK. So that will take out the top leash. We're not going to leave it like that because usually it does a pretty shocking job. But we're going to go and basically continue onwards, finding all of these leash bits and removing them. This part technically would be much easier using the how to remove objects that pass behind the subject. But we're just going to pull out a straight content aware fill here. It didn't do a horrific job. I'm OK with it. Down here, remembering to leave a gap. You have to leave a gap, guys. It's really, really important. So a little bit of a gap between your leash or the um, collar that you're removing and you want to go round. Now, this is where on most dogs, things get really, really messy. OK, that's normal. So we're going to carry on anything that looks out of place, a little bit of a gap, remove. And we'll continue on all the way round. Alrighty, so um, we have technically removed the leash and the collar. We've got a little bit left over here and then we also have a little bit, well, I don't know why I'm zooming in and out so aggressively, but we also have this part here, which is not natural. You wanna be cleaning up these areas to make sure it's as seamless as possible. So um, to start with, I'm gonna just gonna do this area up here. Um, you can try just with a nice short little section like this to just come into the subject. So you see how the edge of the ear is here, but I'm like down here. You want to just come into the subject just a little bit, go up over and it's something that you're wanting to remove and then lock that in. So just to highlight this, so I, I make sure that we're very clear, subject, also subject, line is going over the top. We're not trying to get our selection tool on the line. And then we'll try a shift backspace enter. It's done a pretty good job. And so now we need to go ahead and heal. So to do that, we use literally the healing brush tool, which we've talked about before because it's one of my faves. That is uh, located over here. You might have the spot healing brush tool as your top object. Right click on it and select the healing brush tool. So inside this one, what we want to do is we want to grab a sample of hairy fluffy bit from the edge of the ear and then walk that down to the part where we took the leash out. Technically, I don't need it to be this hairy, but we're going with it. Shall we go with it? Should we? Should we though, Jess? I don't know. We're going to go with it. And you just want to dust forward and backwards 
over that area. If it doesn't look right, Command Z to undo, select a different area, go back and a little bit of upwards, a little bit of downwards, a little bit of wiggling. That wiggle is really, really important. Even though it seems ridiculous, it is actually really important. So you wanna try and end up with this clean finish. We don't have one here right now. Um, so what I'm gonna do is in implement the clone source rotation, which we've talked about before. So uh, you wanna just go ahead and make sure you can see your clone source, which is in the window menu, and then pull up that little mini menu over here. And then you wanna put a rotation on your source. I'm going to uh, clockwise to rotate that little piece of hair outwards. So I want that to be a nice, smooth, seamless transition between the two types of hair. And if I can't get one, um, then I'm gonna just basically keep going until I can recreate that section. This is now fine. Reset your clone source back off to zero and back out. So the ear is fine, the ear is taken care of, but down here we still have this mess. Uh, my pre preferred way of dealing with this is to just heal it all with the healing brush tool, but you can try, again, back with your selection tool, just pulling that entire section. So you wanna include the shadow and also include the top bit of fluff that like leans over it and then shift backspace enter to see how Photoshop does. It's just kind of mushed hair in different directions. So I'm gonna use this as my starting point, clone stamp tool. Make sure that I can grab a nice selection there and then start to work that in. If we have duplication, which we do here in terms of the hair, remember you can always put a little bit of a rotation on it to um, basically make that duplication either invisible or far less obvious. Um, and we can keep sort of rotating as needed to achieve the desired finish that we want. This section, we need a, a, pos a negative rotation. So we'll just put a negative rotation on there and then get a clean finish up the middle. This section of darkness, I'm okay with. It doesn't particularly bother me. It looks natural. So I'm just gonna accentuate that in my editing. And so just like that, we have uh, removed the leash and the collar from this image in a way that makes it look like it never even existed in the first place, which is what we're wanting to achieve, guys. We want it to look as natural as possible. So that's the before and that is the after. All that's left to do for me now is to go forward and edit. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, you know what to do. I'm not gonna go through it again and I'll see you next week for another five minute Friday.